the topic of the session the new chapter is coordinate geometry now geometry is already the most famous word in mathematics which we come across geometry is study of figures now coordinate geometry is a type of geometry where we connect the coordinates or the x coordinate and y coordinate so when we consider the points x and y on a graph sheet then definitely the kind of graph we are going to consider is part of coordinate geometry but before we go into the topic of coordinate geometry let's recap with the chess game we all know that the rules of the chess game most of the rules of the chess game are based on the bishop the knight the king the queen the horse the elephant etc so there are many different pieces through which we play the chess game say for example i take <coughs> the introduction through a chess game then we know that there are different pieces which have the different rules in the game of chess say for example i take the knight the knight in the chess game always moves in a l shaped manner we know that this moves in l shaped manner so how do we know how many units it has moved in l shape to right and top or right and bottom or left top left bottom is how we are going to connect with coordinate geometry say for example my knight here is here so this knight over here moves l shaped here that means once i move i move two steps to the right and three steps up then this is where this has moved finally in l shape now i wanted to know the position of the knight after moving in an l shape manner so what is the position of this again from here this moves in l shape manner through which i get 1 2 1 2 3 say i have again moved on the chess board to here so finally i wanted to know in two steps where this knight over here has moved to a and then to b i want to know the positions of a and b of the moving of the knight in an l shaped manner on the chess board i can locate the position in the chess board provided i use coordinate geometry now coordinate geometry helps us in identifying the position of the point or position of an object on the particular place so putting the object on the particular place or position can be done by using coordinate geometry so what is coordinate geometry what is its application in real life is what we are going to see for the session so what is a coordinate geometry the geometry studied on a graph sheet is nothing but a coordinate geometry in its most simpler words the definition is the geometry studied on a graph sheet is called coordinate geometry now what are the rules on the graph sheet is very important because coordinate geometry is more associated with the rules of the graph sheet than that of the graph sheet itself so what are the rules usually when i say coordinates they are nothing but the points or the values associated with x and y axis so generally we take an x axis and a y axis which intersect exactly perpendicular to each other that is the two axes divide the plane into four regions this is region 1 this is region 2 region 3 and region 
<coughs> this is called x axis and this is called y axis so x axis is the axis along which all x coordinates are taken and y axis is the vertical line along which all the y coordinates are considered and the rule is this is said to be origin because this starts from the initial point which is called the origin and the coordinates of origin are 0 comma 0 where x coordinate is 0 and y coordinate is 0. So when I write the position of the point I generally denote with x y where this is called x coordinate and this is called y coordinate. <coughs> That is, when I take x comma y, I understand that if my point A is x comma y, then it is x units from x axis and y units from y axis. This is x and this is y, where I get. Just like a knight moving in an L-shaped manner, x units vertically, horizontally and y units vertically is how I get the position. Similarly, when I take the point B, as minus x y assuming x and y are positive real numbers then if I assume them to be positive real numbers in this case then I get if I take minus x y that means this moves minus x on the left plus x on the right all the positive x values move on the right and negative values move on the left plus y on top minus y values on bottom Therefore, this would be x units on the left and y units top is how I get this. Similarly, when I take minus x minus y as a coordinate of C, then this is understood as x units from here and y units from here and etc. So finally, we understand that the position of an object can be identified on this four plane x, y coordinate system <coughs> by taking the point and then <coughs> the coordinates of the point define the object. Say for example, I take 3 comma 7. That means my object is 3 units from x axis and 7 units from y axis is how I understand in the coordinate geometry. So 3 units from x axis and 7 units from y axis is how I get the position of the object. So when I take the coordinate geometry, it is always that we take it on the graph sheet because graph sheet is very accurate in identifying the points to its perfection.